Hi, and welcome to our video of Victoria Falls on Mutsi Otonya in Zimbabwe. If you like what you see, then why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels. So we're in the northwest of Zimbabwe on the border with Zambia, and undoubtedly the best views of the falls are from the Zimbabwean side. Now there are a few ground rules, but to be honest, it's fairly simple. Just be sensible. So let's head in to explore. And it's now clear why the local name translates as the smoke that thunders. The path splits here and we're going to head off to the left where we'll meet a statue to David Livingston, the Scottish missionary who was the first European to set eyes on this natural wonder in 1855 and dedicated it to Queen Victoria and giving it one of the names we now know it by. Here you can see the water cascading over the edge of the falls into a part known as the Devil's Cataract. You'll find there's plenty of places to stop and admire the falls as you wander through the park. We were here in mid-April, which is pretty much high water season, although we've been pretty lucky in visiting in August and in November. That was 20 years ago, but I guess the falls haven't changed much in those 20 years. The views are still pretty breathtaking, wouldn't you agree? So as you follow the footpath along the edge of the gorge, you get fabulous views. This is another look at the Devil's Cataract where you can clearly see the slow flowing sand breezy before it meets the falls. As we walk towards the main falls, you get the sense the spray is getting a little heavier in the air. Time for a snap before it just gets a little too wet. All of this footage was shot on a DJI Osmo Pocket, which is a great little camera for capturing content on the fly. However, it's not weatherproof, so we're not quite sure how much longer we can carry on filming for. The ideal companion would be an Osmo Action or a GoPro Hero. See, I said it was wet. You can pick up relatively inexpensive anoraks from the park entrance. You take your choice. The distance from the entrance to the far end of the park is just over a mile, so about 1.7 kilometres, and then you turn around and return. You have a choice of options of which way you return, you can follow the same path or you can head through the rainforest. We took about two hours to take a slow leisurely walk through the park. You know it's time to turn round when you've reached the bridge over the Zambezi. The other side of that bridge and you're into Zambia and another stamp on the passport. Now I do urge you to take time to explore Vic Falls Town. It's not massive, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of people trying to sell you stuff on the way from the falls to the town, but it is a wonderful little place to explore, where you can book some of the other activities if you're adventurous. We dusted this off from our trip back in 1996, when we were both just a little bit younger. Yep, that's us in training, ready for our whitewater rafting down the Zambezi. And now you want us to jump in? Yeah, right. So I suppose what happened to us next was pretty obvious. Our first rapids, morning glory, and guess what? Yep, we got wet. We broke the rapids on both of our previous visits back in 96 and 98. So 
So that's our video of Vic Falls. Certainly a wonderful place to visit. If you've enjoyed this then why not subscribe, leave a comment or just give us a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.